This video will show you how to transfer a design from paper onto a clay slab. So this slab that I have here is going to be for practice, so it's a little bit smaller than my design. So I have taken a piece of tracing paper that's slight, just slightly bigger than my practice tile. Um, it's about four and a half inches by four and a half inches. And I found a good section of my design that I wanna carve. So this is for our bas-relief carvings. Um, we'll talk about in class all of my coding that I have here, but basically I went through and planned out um, which shapes of my design are gonna be carved away. So I put a C for which shapes are gonna be carved away. Um, I thought about which shapes I want to raise up off of my tile. So I put an A along all of my shapes that are going to be added on. Um, the L stands for leave untouched. So that means that I'm not going to be doing anything to the shapes that have an L. They're just going to stay um, the level of my slab. And then B stands for beveled edge. And what a beveled edge does is it creates the illusion of depth. So like if I were gonna bevel this edge right here, this outside part of my slab, this part of this shape rather, is gonna be left on touch. But as I get closer to this line here, I'm going to carve deeper here, okay? So I kind of carve deep here and then even out the pressure of my carving as I go away. So it's gonna create this illusion of depth um, that we're looking for with these projects because we're trying to find light and shadow in our design, okay? So um, I've taken the time already to find an inter interesting section of my design and I've traced it onto a piece of tracing paper. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side for now, but I'm gonna keep it close just in case I need it um, as I'm transferring my design. Now, the for the next step, you're going to want either a dull pencil, and if your pencil's sharp, you can just you know color with it, um, scribble with it on a piece of paper um, to dull that down. Um, if your pencil's too sharp, you're gonna cut through the tracing paper. Um, and we don't want that. You could also use your um, wooden scribe tool that looks like this, okay? Either of these will work. Um, again, though, if you received one of the wooden scribe tools that were brand new and it has a really sharp point to it, I have some sandpaper um, over by my desk that you can use to kind of sand down that edge. So you just need to see me for that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tracing paper and I'm going to lay it on top of my slab. Now this slab has already been finished, so it's already been cut to template and I finished or rounded my edges. I've compressed my slab on both sides. There's no texture left. And then my clay is about at soft leather hard right now. Okay, so it's been sitting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to place my tracing paper on top of my slab. Now, keeping in mind that um, my tracing paper was a little bit bigger than the slab, I wanna make sure that you have a little bit of extra space so that this tracing paper um, can kind of be held down while you're tracing over it. Now, this part's really important. As soon as you start outlining your design, don't let your tracing paper move. So you wanna make sure that you're holding it down well as you trace. It will be hard to reline it up, okay? So I'm gonna just start over here and I'm using my pencil and I'm just gonna gently so that I don't actually carve through my tracing paper. I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over my lines, okay? Um, if you go through the tracing paper, it's, it's really not the end of the world. Um, just try to keep going with it so that we don't need to use another one. And my pencil might even still be kind of sharp right now, so I might go back and sand it down a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so before I go too much further um, and waste my time here, I want to just double check to make sure that it's transferring. So I'm going to hold over here and I'm just going to lift up this edge that I started with. And I just want to peek to make sure. And sure enough, my lines are transferring. So I'm going to hurry up and put this back down so I don't lose my space. And then I'll continue to trace all of my lines. Okay, so once I've transferred all of my lines, I've traced over them and they've been indented into the clay, I'm gonna carefully remove my tracing paper to reveal my design, okay? Now at this point, um, I'll be showing you how to carve these, how to do the bas relief in a separate video. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you're ready to move on to carving, you can watch the next video. Um, if you run out of time in class and you need to store it at this point, um, because my clay is already stiffened up pretty good, um, it's a little bit past soft leather hard at this point. Um, I don't want it to really dry out too much more because um, I do want to be able to add on to my tile as well. So for mine, I'm going to wrap it with just a little bit of damp paper towel. And a reminder that whenever we wrap something with damp paper towel, you don't want a lot. You want to make sure you squeeze the water completely out of the, out of the paper towel. And it really should just cover once over the top and once over the bottom. You'll then store these either on your board or a plastic bat inside your plastic bag so that they don't dry, dry out. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to carve.